Hello, everybody. I am here today with a traveler's notebook process for Tracy Reed. I'm going to be using her summer camp collection, which is a very lovely, gorgeous, kind of outdoor, woodsy, unconventional summer layout, which, and by that I mean it's not full of uh, <laughs> swimsuits and beachy stuff. It's more outdoorsy and um, woodsy, which is awesome. So I've cut my papers down. I used one of the 12 by 12 pattern papers and one of the Traveler's Notebook signatures. I cut them down because I work in handmade Traveler's Notebooks from Rock Your Notebooks. And those notebooks are because they are hand cut and hand sewn and hand stitched. They generally are not an absolute standard size all the time. So I always trim them down to four by eight, my Traveler's Notebook um, pages, papers, and then they fit nicely into my notebooks. And they usually have a white little border all around the edge, which I don't mind in the least. I am going to go ahead and kind of mat, I'm going to, not kind of, I'm going to mat this journal card and I'm going to do all of my journaling on that card. So I have a three by four journal card and then I have my photo over here and I'm actually going to mat my photo onto another journal card. So I cut these, uh, my photo is three by four inches ish <laughs> because uh, I then print them with a white border and that gives me the perfect size to actually map my photos with a three by four journal card. I'm using a ton of the stickers from this collection. I'm going to kind of collage them around my spread, get an idea of oh, where they're going to fit. And this will also let me know if I've pulled out enough or if I need to go grab some more, but I have pulled out plenty and this is going to work really well. I'm going to start by putting that little unplug sticker onto my journaling card. And this journaling card has some journaling prompts that I really do like. So I'm going to go ahead and use those journaling prompts and get all of my writing in. Uh, remember in my traveler's notebook processes, I tend to write more than on 12 by 12 scrapbooks or eight and a half by 11 scrapbooks pages. I feel like my traveler's notebook journals are um, really a nice place to write. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere down both of these cards, the journal cards and my photos. And I'm going to go ahead and put down these collage pieces, these stickers that I have chosen. I'm using these cute little feathers as a kind of like layering pieces. So I'm almost creating a background behind my pattern paper. And then I'm going to layer some of those stickers on top of the pattern paper, which is going to give me a really nice effect and lots of space and color and interest on my spread. So now it's just a matter of placing those die cuts back down where I had them before, getting them in the right spots again. Trimming off the edge of that label, and we are going to stamp something in that label in just a minute. I'm going to grab my sand eraser now and erase the pencil lines that I added with uh, my pencil. And then we can just kind of move on and work on the journaling side of our spread. So I have those two uh, stickers left, this kind of um, diamond shaped one and then the little arrow that's going to point back to my photo. And then I also have two of those feathers that I'm going to go ahead and place on either side of the journaling. But once I have those feathers in place, I decided that I want to do a little bit of stamping on my spread. I have been, tr been um, kind of neglecting my stamps recently and I've been wanting to get back into stamping them. So that's what we're going to work on here. So a little bit of behind the scenes design as I go ahead and do some stamping. I am going to be stamping using the Something Borrowed Blue from Katherine Puller. 
This blue is slightly brighter than the blue that is in the collection. I chose it because my photo in my photo, it's a photo of me sitting on my porch with my Doxy and the bright blue watering can is in the photo. So I had a couple of um, thoughts on how I could kind of fix that. But the best thought that I had was to just incorporate two other areas of that bright blue into my spread. The watering can is in kind of an awkward position in the photo, so it's not like covering it up is an option. And so what I decided to do was I grabbed the Something Borrowed ink and I added a brighter blue in, and it works just fine. The whole spread looks really nice, but I felt like by adding that stamping, by adding that blue in there, I was actually able to go ahead and have the blue in the photo make sense and also have the whole spread be cohesive as opposed to having that bright blue watering can that's in the photo like sticking out like a sore thumb. So that was why I went with uh, the blue. And then I also went in with some black ink and did some little uh, polka dots, little accents around my embellishment clusters just to give it something that wasn't all paper. You guys know how much I like to use my stamps to add uh, some inkiness, something that's not paper but that isn't too bulky to uh, my traveler's notebook spreads. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of dot that polka dot stamp around into some different areas of my layout. I think I do one more up at the top. And there we go. <laughs> now I can just adhere my spreads, trim them up, adhere them into my notebook. And we are all finished with this, these pages. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed this little hybrid traveler's notebook spread that I have for you today. Be sure to head over and check out the summer camp collection from Tracy Reed. And I will also leave a link down below for the notebooks that I use from Rock Your Notebook. Talk to you soon. Bye.